Hey guys, Jason here. Join us as we show you how to manipulate and transform existing relief models in Carvico Maker. We're going to start with this sign base here and I'm just going to drag this in. When you bring a relief in from the relief clip art library, the relief will be blue in color. When the relief is blue, this lets you know that you can still manipulate this. You can change the size, the shape, we can rotate it around on an axis. And you'll notice over on the right hand side, we have our scale and size box. You can link the size together and maintain the aspect ratio between the width, the height, and the thickness by pressing the lock button if you want to keep it all the same. If you want to customize each one of those sizes, you just uncheck it and then you can put in your own size. If you press F9, this will center the relief. The Z range is the thickness of the model. And if we turn that to the side, you can see how thick this model is. The little red arrow allows you to adjust this height and you can see as I adjust it on the right hand side over here it's adjusting the height. And then when we're ready we can paste that down and it will apply it to the zero plane of our material. Before we paste it down though we have some options down here in our paste mode. We can add it to our material. Let's press add and that adds it to the top of our material. If I undo that, now notice that when I undid that, the pasting tools are not there. You have to click on the relief and press the transform button. We also can set it to subtract and this will remove it or put it in the negative. We have merge high, merge low, and replace. These three options have more to do with combining reliefs and I'll get into that in just a few minutes. For now we're just going to press add because we want to add this to the top of our material and we press paste. Now we have a sign base on our material to work with. If I open my relief clip art library back up, Carvico Maker lets you stack and import as many reliefs as you want so you can use these to create a very complex 3D model. Let's grab this fish right here and drag it in. You notice when I brought it in it came in really big and we can size this down. Let's say we're going to put this in our model. Now notice the thickness of the fish and the thickness of the plaque are melded together right now in the view. You can see what the fish looks like here. If we push it up here, you can see that these two heights are blending together. At the top of our transform tool, we have two tabs. The second tab is our combine mode tab, and this is just another place to change the paste mode. You can select add, subtract, merge high, merge low, and replace here. You also can change it up here with the little graphics that helps show you what it's going to do a little better. If we press add, the add combine function is going to add these two reliefs together. If we press paste, it's going to add that fish on top of our plaque. Now if I undo that, and let's go back to our transform mode because it's blue, I'm going to change that to merge high. And if we press paste, now it merges the two together at the same level. Whatever level you had them together with, that's the level at which they're going to paste together. And this time we're going to pick replace and I paste this down. Now the fish will cut out the plaque and replace with the fish. And that's how the replace works. Let's undo that one. Now if we press subtract, it's going to subtract the fish from the model. So that subtracts it in the Z and gives you that fish as a recess. And our last option is merge low. This is going to attempt to merge whatever is below the surface with what is on the surface. So everything that is below the surface of the fish is going to merge with the surface of the fish. So when I press this, all the stuff that was below the surface stayed there and everything that was above it just merged with the plaque. And that's how the merge low works. It's just the opposite of merge high. If we go back to the add button, I want to show you the, the add flush tool. You can add material below the fish. If we look, this sign is 0.25 or a quarter inch. So if we add a quarter inch flush to the bottom of our fish and then we paste it down, it's going to add an extra quarter inch wherever that fish is. If I press merge high, and let's make this 0.15 and I paste it down, 0.15 of that fish, see the bottom fin is still below the surface there, but it moved it. 0.15 from the base of the material. And that's a way that you can get the fish to fall in a certain spot inside of other piece of material. If you do the subtract, it's going to add the flush 
to the subtraction. So it's going to add 0.15 to that subtraction when we paste it down. So it'll have 0.15 material drop and then it will subtract the fish. And that's what the add flush button does. Guys, if you find this content valuable, share this with someone. Give us a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, let's make bit happen.